Hello and welcome back to Learn with Rishi, where we're dedicated to helping you master the English language. Today, we're exploring the captivating world of metaphors. Now, metaphors add depth and imagery to our language, allowing us to express our ideas in creative and vivid ways. In this video, we'll delve into the definition of metaphors, examine their significance in literature and everyday language, and then challenge you with 10 thought-provoking questions to test your comprehension. Our objective is to enhance your understanding of metaphors and empower you to use them effectively in your writing and speech. So get ready to unlock the power of metaphors with Learn With Rishi. So what are metaphors? Now, a metaphor is a word or phrase that is used to describe a person or object, and in doing so, makes an understood comparison. Unfortunately, this understood comparison is not always easy to understand. For example, her sunny face was a pleasing sight. Now, her face couldn't literally in real be sunny, but by comparing it with the sun, we understand that she was a pleasant person. So technically speaking, metaphors are figures of speech. What about this one? Her voice was music to his ears. What would you say about this metaphor? What do you think that means? Well, to me, this metaphor compares the pleasantness of her voice to the beauty of music. So it's comparing the pleasantness of her voice to the beauty of music. Or even this one here. Time is a thief. What is it comparing? Well, it compares the passage of time to a thief, implying that it steals moments from our lives. Have you ever, have you ever noticed that when you go to a friend's house, or a cousin's house, time goes by so fast when you're having fun. That is, is exactly what we mean here. Or even the third one, the world is a stage, suggesting that life is a theatrical performance with individuals playing different roles. Or more interestingly, his words were bullets piercing through my heart. With this metaphor comparing the impact of his words to the sharpness and pain of bullets. And then finally, the city is a jungle. Once again, comparing the chaotic and bustling nature of the city to the wild and unpredictable environment of a jungle. So there's tons of information that we can get from metaphors here. Unlike similes, which use words like as or like, to make comparisons, metaphors directly state that one thing is another. So again, if I go back to this metaphor, time is a thief, it's a metaphorical way of expressing how time seems to steal moments from our lives, even though time itself is not a physical thief. Now, as mentioned before, I don't expect you to pick this up all in one video. Be sure to watch this video again. Repetition is key, don't forget that. And with that in mind, let's begin with question one. He's the apple of her eye. What do you think that means? If you chose that she adores him, then you are absolutely correct. Apple of her eye. And more interestingly, just for the sake of the time, if you don't understand anything, I want you to search it up and find the definition. So next time you can embed this in your everyday English. Let's go for the second question. He lived his life in the fast lane. Now, what do you think that means? If somebody lives their life in the fast lane, is it that he lived in a car which he always drove fast? Or was he a racing driver? Or is it that he just drives fast? Well, if you picked the last one, that he lived a life full of excitement and activity, then you are correct. 
And that there is your answer. Now, don't forget, you can pause the video at any given time, find the definition, note it down and then press play. Or you could test yourself all in one go and then go ahead and learn the metaphors after. OK, question three. She has half baked ideas and nothing more. Now, think about think about this. Half baked ideas or half baked food is as bad as half baked ideas. So her ideas are not thought out enough. So that is our answer here. If your ideas are not thought out enough, you can say that you have half baked ideas. So we need to go back and think again. OK, over to the next question. Mary tried to pull the wool over my eyes. So picture this, somebody covering your eyes, meaning they don't want you to see something. So could she be teasing him? Well, in all honesty, Mary tried to deceive him. So if somebody tries to cover your eyes, they want to disguise something so you cannot see it. So Mary tried to deceive him. Over to the next one. The, these children are Rugrats. Now, if you haven't seen the Rugrats show, this is an American or Canadian metaphor. And it just means that the children can't walk yet. So if you want to search up Rugrats as a TV show, please do so. OK, over to the next one. Peter is all thumbs. He just spilt my drink. So if we use our inference skills here, he just spilt my drink. Out of all of these, it looks as if Peter is clumsy. You'd think all his fingers are thumbs. So that's a good one to remember. And the next one. Andrew has decided to turn over a new leaf this year. Well, with all of the new New Year goals and aspirations in 2024. We know that Andrew has changed his behaviour for the better. And that there is here. So you turn over a new leaf for the better. Once again, if you need to pause the video at any given time, please do so. Check your answers and then come back to us. My name is Mud ever since I caused all that trouble at school. Hmm, Mud. Well, Mud is not considered good. So if your name is Mud, you had better start improving your behaviour. So he has been shamed. People are calling him Mud because of all that trouble he caused at school. Over to the next one. My boyfriend showered me with gifts. Hmm, is it that her boyfriend made her take a shower with his gifts? Or is it that her boyfriend threw gifts at her? Well, think of a water shower. So the correct answer here is that her boyfriend gave her endless loads of gifts. That's a lot of gifts. Imagine a water shower, but in gifts. That would be a lot of gifts, isn't it? And then over to the final question here. Necessity is the mother of invention. I want you to learn this metaphor because it's used quite a bit. And the correct answer is, if you really want to do something very much, you will think of a way to do it and you won't complain. So necessity is the mother of invention. Fantastic. And that there brings us to the end of our video today. Thank you for joining us on Learn With Rishi as we explore the enchanting world of metaphors. Don't forget to note these metaphors down and learn even more. Your learning experience shall never end. We hope you enjoyed learning about this rich literary device and how it adds colour to our language. So be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful English language lessons. Keep practising your metaphorical skills and remember, the sky's the limit. So until next time, keep learning and keep growing with Learn With Rishi.